up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Hello friends and welcome to an extreme cleaning video and we are just going to jump right into it so I'm starting here on my stairs working my way into the playroom where the bulk of the organizing and decluttering and cleaning is going to happen but I gotta get these stairs done first so I'm vacuuming on top of them on the sides of them in front of them because these are like velcro this carpet is absolutely awful I complain about it every single time that I clean these but they always need to be cleaned because there's often cat hair that gets stuck to this. My cat doesn't even shed that much, but on these stairs, I will find cat hair. I will find toys and garbage and all sorts of things that get stuck into this carpet. So I'm going to give that a really nice deep clean before we move our way into the playroom. in the playroom I'm going to be cleaning this computer desk area however I'm gonna get the window above it because that often has dead bugs and other bits of dirt in it so I just wanted to vacuum that off before I wiped it down and then I'm going to be cleaning this desk and honestly it is always so disgusting here why because my children like to come up here and bring a snack with them while they're doing their schoolwork or they're playing video games so anyways it gets crumbs everywhere and it's often pretty gross so i'm going to be wiping this down and in fact it even needed a magic eraser treatment because i'm not even sure why but there was like scrapes and there was stuff that was not coming off with just a washcloth I think it was because they were perhaps doing some writing or artwork or something like that or they were scraping something across it. I honestly don't really know but it definitely needed a deep clean inside and out because I'm also going to be getting all of the drawers done. So in any case this is only the beginning of the satisfying cleaning that is going to be happening in today's video. Like I said earlier there is going to be a bunch of organizing and decluttering. We're going to be going through all the little bits of toys and I'm going to get all the cracks and crevices of all the drawers and shelves and just getting everything organized and clean and this really makes my heart happy to get this done and I really hope that it's motivating for you so enjoy I'm just gonna put some music on for now so that you can just sit back relax and enjoy the transformation
as I started to clean this Lego out, I realized that there was a lot of garbage and items that were not Lego that were mixed in with this because it has been quite a while since I've gone through the kids Lego and once I dumped it out, I realized that I needed to wipe down the inside of the containers because there was like a lot of dirt and dust that was at the bottom and so I started going through it little piece by little piece and there was so much and I quickly realized that when my girls want to create something with this Lego then they're having to go through all of these little pieces and the Lego itself actually needed to be decluttered because I realized that there was a lot of items that the girls did not use. I knew what their favorites were, which were like the bigger pieces and the things that they could really build with and of course all the little animals or the characters, but there was actually a lot of stuff in here that I knew that they never used. So even though it felt very sacrilegious to throw Lego away, if there was anything that was broken or warped or I knew that the girls just did not use I threw it away because it wasn't worth you know just giving away to somebody because it was all the stuff that nobody really wants it was you know just those little pieces that come with sets that you build the set once but then once we built it then everything just sort of went into the containers and anyways I wanted my girls to really enjoy the Lego that they had and by decluttering some of it I think that they're actually able to build greater things because they're not trying to sort through all of the junk to get to the good stuff, which is honestly the same philosophy that I have throughout my entire home, which is get rid of the stuff that you're not using so that you can enjoy the stuff that you have. And you can put this philosophy onto things like your children's toys, even though you spent money on it and you think, I just can't get rid of it like my kids are gonna use this or at least I think they're gonna use it even though they don't seem to be using it right now it's okay to get rid of things to either throw them out or give them away if you think that they are worth something or give them to the thrift store or maybe even sell them because you will get more enjoyment out of the things that you actually use if you get rid of the stuff that you don't when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. I have significantly reduced the amount of Lego in each bin and I really think that my two younger girls are really going to enjoy playing with them now because they can just find the pieces that they need. And also I didn't want to film the entire thing of me going through every single little Lego piece because honestly I was there for hours doing that and it was a crazy amount of work but just know that I did that but I didn't want this video to be like a million hours long so we just sort of skipped over some of those parts and you got to see the end result. Alright so I'm just gonna go on to cleaning the rug underneath the table because this is somewhere that my kids are doing craft work or they're playing with Lego and anyways there's a lot of stuff that gets onto the floor so I'm gonna clean this up vacuum it up and get on with the cleaning and decluttering Okay, so now on to more toy organization and I'm dumping everything out because honestly that's the best way to go. If you look inside of this bin, 
it needed to be vacuumed very badly and I found that all the little pieces of debris and paper really stuck to this basket so it did take a bit to vacuum it out. In fact, I needed to get the full vacuum piece so that I could really get that suction in there and I had to go over it with the little tiny piece afterwards and try and get in all of the crevices. But at the end of the day, I finally got it vacuumed out and cleaned. Anyhow, so all of these pieces that were in the bin, it is a big mix of calico critters and building blocks and other random toys because sometimes when I get my kids to clean up, they do not organize stuff. They just throw everything into a large bin. So I'm gonna go through this. Also, the reason that they do that is because they often play with those toys together. So they're creating stuff for the calico critters with the blocks. So I understand why sometimes they get mixed up a bit. They're not completely just lazy kids that don't want to organize their toys. It's just that they play with a lot of their toys all together. So I'm using several different containers for organization. The largest basket is obviously for the calico critters and all of their accessories. And then I have a smaller white bin for the building blocks and then another white bin for the magnet blocks. And in the other white bin is where the dinosaurs and some other random toys are going. I also have a garbage so I can throw out anything that needs to be thrown out. And then just off to the side, I have a small pile going for items that don't particularly go anywhere and perhaps need to go somewhere else in the house. Baby, it ain't always easy. Oh, you know, sometimes it's just our heart. And lately, you've been feeling dizzy, spinning all around trying to find my heart. And maybe you've been feeling like quitting. Raise your head and look at how far we've come. It's crazy, all the wars we're fighting, and all of the battles we face in life. So now I'm moving over to the other side of the playroom and yes, that was winter decor that was sitting on my shelf because I have been too lazy to put it away and that should have been decluttered and put away in the storage area like three or four months ago. But in any case, it's gone now and now my house is winter free 
Anyhow, I have a lot of books and stuff on this shelf, and so as I am cleaning, I am also decluttering some of the books and some of the games because we just had a little bit too much, and I'm just going to reorganize things on the shelves and the cabinet that is next to this, as well as we have some electronics and stuff as well that I want to go through and just make it easier to access because you know when you just have a whole bunch of cords and technology and you just don't even know what goes with what or anything like that? Anyhow, that was the problem that we were having in this room. So I am going through that as well as pulling everything out from the wall so that I can clean behind it. Maybe it's something in the water yeah. Or maybe we just we hit the end of the road As I continue cleaning and organizing, I thought I would take a moment to introduce myself in case you are new here. So my name is Tammy Ferns and I am married to my wonderful husband Jeff and together we have four children and I homeschool all of them. And my oldest daughter, Katie, she is graduating this year. We only have a couple weeks of school left and she is going to be my first homeschool grad. So I am very proud of her. And then the next child is Connor, who is 17. He's in grade 11. Then there's Carly, who is 12 and she's in grade six. And then Clara is six years old and she is in kindergarten. So we are very busy here in this room a lot because this is where we keep all of the homeschool supplies as well as the kids work on their computers here when they're doing some of their courses online. So yeah, this room can get pretty busy and chaotic between the toys and the homeschooling supplies. Part of this is also I'm going through some of these homeschooling supplies because we are done with them for the end of the year so I know what I can declutter and what I want to save still for next year. So yeah, we have a pretty big family and that's not all who lives in this house. In the summer months, for about six months of the year, my parents also live in the basement suite in our home. It is a walkout basement so they have a separate entrance. It's completely separate but it is with us so it is really a blessing to have them here for six months of the year because my kids and I as well we just love having them visit all the time and actually as I'm doing this voiceover right now my parents are playing a game with the kids in the dining room and so it's just so awesome to have them here and we also have a lot of animals in this home so my two teenagers each have a cockatiel and 
they are very well loved and they sing songs and play games with them and stuff and sometimes they fly around our house you'll sometimes see them once in a while in my videos and then we also have a hamster who you actually are going to meet in this video his name is Norman and that belongs to my two younger girls and we have a cat and she just had her 19th birthday which blows my mind. I cannot believe she has lived this long and she is still going strong. I would not be surprised if she lives for another five years. It's crazy. She's just like super healthy. And anyways, you often see her in my videos as well. She's usually sleeping in the background. And then, oh yes, we also have one fish that my daughter got about three years ago. And he is also still alive. He's a beta fish. And so he lives in my oldest daughter's room. So. It is a very full house and I absolutely love it. Um, one of the reasons though I think that sometimes I'm really into decluttering and organizing is because we just have so many people and so many pets that I need to keep things manageable so I just like to keep my inventory down so that it just keeps things flowing a little bit easier. So if you enjoy videos where there's a lot of cleaning and organizing and decluttering, then this is definitely the channel that you want to be subscribed to because I love to create that kind of content. I love to inspire you guys and give you lots of ideas on how you can organize and declutter your home. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And also while you're at it, give this video a like if you're enjoying it. We watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect that as I was organizing the books and the toys on this shelf that I moved stuff around and then I just moved it right back and then I put books somewhere and then I put them back where they used to be and that was just part of the process because sometimes you just have to try something out realize it doesn't work and then start over and put things back that is just part of the process and I didn't want to cut everything out because I wanted you guys to see how it actually happens when you're organizing. You don't always put everything on the shelf perfectly the first time. It's a process and don't be afraid to make mistakes. I'm on 
the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside, writing down all the things that I miss. And in the letters you take form. No, I won't. So as I was vacuuming up this area, the hamster was sitting in his cage off to the side and my daughter wanted to hold him so I just took him out to hand to her while I moved the cage over back into place. But I did want to take a moment and introduce you guys to Norman because he is just so adorably cute. I mean, look at him. He is a teddy bear hamster. He is so fluffy and cuddly and we definitely love having him in our family. He is constantly being held by one of my daughters, if not by me, because even I like to snuggle him because he is just so adorably cute. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I will give you guys a once around look at the place so that you can see how beautifully organized it is. And I hope this is super inspiring to you because I got to tell you, it feels amazing when you get your space cleaned and organized. All right, so I will see you guys in my next video. Take care until next time.